What's up everybody? This is Cam Can Drum. I've got a product review for you today. It doesn't really have anything to do with drums, but if you're a singer, this is definitely something you should check out. And there's some other really cool uses for it as well. I found it at the NAMM show this year and I'm going to bring it to you today. It's called the Vocal Mist. So let's tap into this thing and see what it's all about. Okay, so I was at the NAMM show and if you've never been before, try to picture Guitar Center on steroids. NAMM show is at the Anaheim Convention Center. I don't know how big it is, but it's tens of thousands of square feet. And there's just booths and vendors all over the place. You've got guitars, you've got drums, you've got bass, you've got DJs, you've got cellos and trumpets and classical music instruments, pianos, keyboards, you name it. It's all there. And they're all being played all at the same time by probably thousands of people. So it gets pretty loud. I mean, it's not crazy where sometimes when you're at a bar and they're playing the music really loud, you got to scream at the person right next to you just to, to hear what they're saying um, and, and so that they can hear what you're saying, vice versa. It's not that loud, but it's pretty loud. It's, it's like being at Guitar Center. Um, you literally have to talk a lot louder than you normally would, than I am right now even. So an hour or two of that and you're you're already feeling it in your voice so most of you guys know my good buddy Joey Gabra J Gabs from Audio Epidemic him and I got invited uh, to the NAMM show this year and we flew out to Los Angeles and we just walked the show and saw all the really cool new stuff that's coming out and uh, this was one that I was not expecting to I didn't even know it existed actually um, I've been singing since I was six years old. I don't think I would ever necessarily call myself a bona fide singer like I would a drummer, but I sing all the time. I love to sing. It's probably, it's probably equally as fun as drums, actually, uh, when it comes to my musical interest. Anytime, and, and my singing on par with my drumming, my drumming is like up here compared to my singing. So anytime that I can try to up my singing game I'm always interested so Joey and I were walking around and uh, we stumbled upon the vocal mist booth and we saw these guys and they were wearing these masks and all this vapor was coming out of the mask and we're like what is that so we went over and they basically said it hydrates your vocal cords it helps you sing better and Joey, who is in a cover band, plays four hours a night every weekend. Their singer is going through some issues where they, he, she had to take hiatus. He's been doing a lot of the, the lead vocals. Uh, and he was telling me, even before we, we got to the booth, he was telling me his, his throat is just trash at the end of the night. So when we saw this booth and they, they said that this would help with uh, singing, he didn't even care to test it out or anything. He went ahead and bought it. And they were selling it at NAMM show for half off. I haven't checked online, but he bought it. Of course, I bought it. I have it uh, for $108. So if what they're saying is true, retail is around $216. We'll get into whether or not it's worth it or not uh, at the end of the review. Uh, but for now, um, I just want to kind of get into how it works, what it does, the additional benefits that it might bring and uh, why you might be interested in this product. It's not a paid advertisement or anything like that. It's, they, they don't endorse me at all. I'm not a singer, first of all. Um, and they wouldn't if I was. Yeah, this is totally just me hyping up a really cool product that I think uh, anybody who's a singer would benefit from. So, we were at the booth. We both tested it out. And what you do is, you basically, this is the unit. It's called uh, a nebulizer. Um, it's got a little rubber cap on it. You take that off. It's got a plastic cap. You take that off, and that's where you put the saline, saline solution. It comes with 48, sorry, it comes with 48 doses. Uh, here's, there we go, here's one. I'm gonna actually do it for you guys right here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do this dose, or I don't know what you call it. Here, we'll crack that open. And we'll pour the solution into the container. There we go. 
All right, cap that back up. And then you have a choice. It comes with two masks, a small one and a big one. Small one is, is almost for, for kids. I mean, it kind of fits on me. Actually, maybe now that I'm thinking about it, maybe you get more a more direct dose with the small mask than you would with the big, big mask. Yeah, this one seems like there's more space. This one seems more concentrated. So maybe I'll, I'll try, I'm gonna try using this small mask. It also comes with a mouthpiece if you wanna just go straight into your, into your mouth. But you literally just throw it on here. Make sure you charge it up first. I've used this quite a bunch. Uh, I'm not sure if it's fully charged or not. Hopefully I get the whole dosage beforehand. So all you do is just turn it on. There you go. And it starts nebulizing. And you just breathe in this mist for 10 minutes. So Joey and I did this. Another thing you wanna have handy when you're doing this is a Kleenex because condensation does uh, form on your nose and your mouth. You wanna wipe that up before it gets too, uh, too moist. So you basically just breathe this in through your nose, through your mouth, and what it does is it coats, it, it, it literally hydrates your vocal cords and anything in your larynx. So remember, your throat consists of both your esophagus, which is what you swallow, things that you swallow that go into your digestive tract, and your larynx, which is things that you breathe in that goes straight into your lungs your vocal cords, your, your voice box, whatever you want to call it, and your lungs. Typically, what a singer would do before a show or before singing in the studio or whatever, is they'll take a hot beverage. Usually it's a hot tea. And they'll drink it and they'll warm their voice up. And that's, that was like the method for a long time. Still is today even. But it's almost sort of like a myth, at least according to these guys, while we were doing this, they were talking to us about the science behind this whole thing. And I gotta try to breathe in as much as possible. Um, when you drink, you're actually, the water's going down your esophagus. It's not going down your larynx, where your voice is, is happening, where the vibration of whatever it is going down there is making sound waves come out when you talk. That's all in the larynx. So when you're drinking, you're really, it, it's coating your esophagus and that water doesn't actually get to your larynx and your throat until it passes through your um, small intestines and absorbs in, gets into your bloodstream and comes back. So it, it takes a long time if what you're trying to do is coat your throat with moisture and, and, and hydrate it, you're really not getting it right at that minute um, obviously your your throat gets the warmth so to warm it up a little bit but what you're trying to really do is hydrate your throat and the best way to do it the most instant way to do it is by doing something like this it's, it's part of the reason why when you're in the shower and you're singing it sounds better because your voice is hydrated also yes of course the acoustics if you have tile or what, whatever it bounces off the walls and it sounds a lot nicer but your actual voice sounds better because you're breathing in a lot of steam and it's hydrating your vocal cords. So this has the, kind of the same approach where it's really, it, it's just not necessarily coating your throat. Like if you've ever drank that throat coat tea, you can feel like a coating in your throat. And I'm actually not even really sure if it helps your voice box. This is not that at all. You don't feel any different. You don't feel like you have a layer of something on your throat and now you can go and just scream all, all night. It's not like that at all. You don't feel anything different from your normal self. But what happened, and, I, and this is anecdotal to me, when we did this 10 minute thing, you know, we walked the show for the rest of the day. Uh, we found this booth within an hour or so of just walking around. Yeah, we were there from opening till close. I think it was like six or seven o'clock. And uh, yeah, everything was just normal, whatever. What I didn't realize was this thing helped me out. I didn't realize it until the next day when we went back for day number two and we were walking around 
and after about a couple of hours, my throat was getting really hoarse and, and, and raw, and I was like, why, why is my throat so weak right now? Yesterday, I went all day, like, fine, with no problems, and then I was like, bing, it was the vocal mist. It had to have been. So I was sold. I was like, okay, that thing literally worked. It, it made it so that I can talk at a high volume all day. Joey and I went from booth to booth and we were talking, we were talking with other vendors, we were talking between amongst ourselves, just talking about all the different things that were going on at NAMM show. We had continued that the next day and after a couple of hours, my throat was already hurting. So I was like, yeah, that's, that, that's a huge, uh, a huge difference. So we went back, I went and purchased my unit and did another 10 minutes there. My voice recovered a lot quicker than it normally would. When I sing and I get to the point where my voice is no good anymore, I usually can't sing for at least another four or five hours. So when I did the, the dose the second day, my voice recovered within a couple of hours and I was able to talk like I did the day before for the rest of the day. It was pretty insane. That That is anecdote number one. Anecdote number two, and I'm going to do this on this video, and I'm going to plug my Patreon right now because it helps my channel, it helps my website. So what I'm doing is I'm doing these full length album covers. Right now already you can do, you can watch, I've done 18 songs of James Taylor Live. That is on my Patreon for $2 a month. You can go ahead and watch that in its entirety. There's a, uh, a handful of other videos out, uh, on there as well. I'll put, I'll probably put, you know, a little screen capture on there so you can see all the stuff that's on my Patreon. But I'm in the middle of doing another full album by a band called Splendor. If you've never heard of them, they're not very well known. They're, they're from the 90s. They're a New York band. A very awesome, super multi-talented band. Songwriting is amazing. The guitars are unbelievable. The drums are so powerful and the singer is just insane. The bass player is so good. They're all super tight with each other. And I was able to see them two or three times live. Unbelievable. I don't understand how they weren't bigger. They had a couple of hits, uh, both from the album that I'm fully covering. I'm doing both drums and vocals. This singer is amazing and I'm lucky enough to have a register very similar to his. Not that I can sing anywhere near as good as him. His name's Wayman Boone. Not that I can sing anywhere near as good as Wayman but I love singing along to it. Just makes me feel good, makes me feel happy, makes me feel like I can actually kind of sort of sing something. So I'm singing this album front to back. I'm not gonna do any t um, outtakes or anything like that. It's just gonna go from one song to the next all the way from the start to the end. Normally when I do that without something like this, I can sing up to about song number seven and then my voice starts going to heck. And then uh, song 10 is probably the hardest song to sing. It's, it's, pro it's got the highest notes for sure. It's really difficult for me to do that, singing from start to, to, to finish. Usually I'll, I'll crack or it'll just be really thin and, and not sound strong. So this is a test to see if I can do that, if I can sing all the way through without any sort of degradation in my voice. I'm really curious to see if I can do it. So I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to, right after this session, I'm going to record my voice. There we go. Is that, was that already 10 minutes? Sometimes there's too much liquid that builds up right here. Oh yeah, it's 10 minutes. It turned off. Okay. So, sorry, I got a bunch of condensation on, on me built up. Um, okay, so that was 10 minutes. I'm going to turn the camera off now. I'm going to record. And once I'm done, I'm going to hop back on here. Um, you probably hear some degradation in my voice, but we'll see if I can get through the whole album without my voice cracking. Alrighty, see you soon. When I'm asleep, I leave the light on. That's what I don't understand. That's what I don't know. What's become of you? What's become of me? It's okay, it's okay. It's part of everything now. All right, 
everybody, I'm back. I just finished singing 1 through 13 of that album, Halfway Down the Sky by Splendor. And yeah, I felt like I can keep singing. I could probably sing the album twice. <laughs> it's, it's actually pretty amazing how well this thing works. So uh, yeah, it's right here. I've got it sitting with the cap off. You're supposed to keep the cap off until it's dry and then once it's dry you can cap it up again so yeah it's been sitting for that album is about an hour long i think it's 50 minutes it's dry now so yeah i'm gonna put this thing away and um it's it's brilliant it it really is a difference maker if you're a singer especially if you're a singer who sings a lot like joey he doesn't even sing a lot but he sings a lot two, three nights a week, four hours. I'm sure he's probably singing three of those hours. That's a lot of singing um, for someone like me. You know, for someone who might be on a cruise ship, might be singing every single night, three or four hours a night. That's insane to me. Or somebody that's on tour. Yeah, this is definitely worth 200 bucks. If you're not a singer, Eh, you know, it might not be worth that much money. If you're a hobbyist or whatever, you might be on the fence. Let me try to push you off of that fence and, and uh, convince you that this is a good purchase because not only does it work for singing or if you're a speaker and you talk a lot at co campuses or whatever, at businesses, also a good audience to try to go for. But if you're not a singer, if you're not a speaker, if you don't use your voice a lot, there are other things that you can use this for. Namely, if you have allergies, this thing has helped my allergies. Before I went to NAMM show, my allergies were really bad. I had 100% blockage in my nasal passages. I don't know if it was sinus or if it was uh, in the nose, but I couldn't breathe through my nose at all. It was like as if I was holding my nose, like I couldn't breathe in or out uh, that's how bad my allergies were this year probably the worst that they've ever been um, and then i went to la and they they cleared up a little bit i had maybe about 50 percent blockage so i can breathe but i mean you could totally hear it even when i talked so then i got this and those first two applications helped clear my nasal passages i know it sounds kind of gross but there was a lot of stuff coming out and it didn't probably didn't look good either <laughs> Uh, but it helped it helped clear it out. It, it brought it to about 30, 25, 30 percent. Um, or actually, sorry, it would be the other way. It'd be 75 percent open, um, so that I can at least sleep at night and 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 feel somewhat normal. And then when I got home, I felt like oh, the allergies are going to come back and it's going to be no, not at all. They didn't come back. They actually subsided um, after about three or four days. Uh, I was able to breathe again and it was normal. Now, of course, maybe um, it was a coincidence. Maybe all the pollen had disappeared or got washed away or, or stopped falling or like floating in the sky or whatever. Could have coincided with when I came home and um, used this thing as well. So all of that could have been in play, but I know for sure that this thing helped eat just a little bit with my allergies. And uh, if they can help me, they can probably help you. So if you're a singer, hobbyist singer who's on the fence, um, that's another reason why uh, you should buy this thing is because it would help with any sort of allergies. And you know as a singer, if you have allergies and you can't breathe and you sound nasally, it, it totally changes your voice. So that's another reason. And I also have a last reason. My daughter, who's three years old, she started school back in February, now it's July. It's gonna start, July is right around the corner, literally tomorrow. So she's, for four months, had this nagging cough. Ever since she started school, she's, she's gotten this cough, and uh, every time at night, I'm sure it's the nasal drip thing, at nighttime, right before bed, she'll have a coughing fit. Somewhere in the middle of the night, uh, she'll wake up coughing. And this is, uh, for a good three months, it was every night, every single night. And not until recently um, has it kind of subsided where it was maybe every two or three days or so. So I came home and I was like, I did a little bit of research on this thing. And there's, you know, there's different types of branding for 
these particular nebulizers, this one, Vocal Mist, is branded towards singers and, and, and speakers. But they have nebulizers like these marketed towards health issues like coughs and allergies and whatnot. So I was like, oh, I wonder. I'm going to try to use this on my daughter and see if it helps at all. Uh, it can't hurt because it's just saline solution. I put the small mask on my daughter. I uh, started it up. She got freaked out about it. Um, I tried to keep it on her for as long as possible. After about three or four minutes, she was she was done. She didn't, she wanted to take it off, whatever. But it worked. She didn't cough that whole night. Not bef not when she went to bed. Not in the middle of the night. And for the next probably I, I want to say a week and a half, nothing. Once in a great while, she might let out a little bit of a cough, but nothing to the point where it would wake her up, and nothing to the point where. Like she at one point was throwing up because she was coughing so much. Um, none of that. And it wasn't up, up until maybe a couple of, maybe like three or four days ago that she actually started coughing again. And I made her do it again. Um, this time I put the, the mouthpiece instead of the, the mask. It was directly going into her mouth. That night she did cough a little bit. And then the next few nights it was not as bad. Like she would cough before she fell asleep, but it wasn't like this crazy cough. And then she had a day or two where it was pretty bad. She threw up and we took her to the doctor and now she's on antibiotics and whatnot. And, and it's actually starting to go away. But this thing definitely helped. It helped her for a, a nice period of time to be able to sleep at night. Now wake up, uh, wake up refreshed and yeah, it just, it seems to, whatever it's marketed as and whatever it claims to do, it seems to be able to do. So I would buy this, like if this broke, I would go out and buy another one for the full real retail price. That's how, uh, how much I love it, I, how much I think it works. And hopefully uh, you guys are interested in it and let me know what you think. If, you're, if, if any of you drummers out there also like to sing, uh, try to pick one up and, and see uh, if it helps you out. Same thing goes for singers and whatnot. If, if you're out there and you see this video and you're on, a, on the fence about this thing, trust me, it's, it, it works for me and I'm not a very good singer, so it'll definitely work for you. But yeah, that's, uh, that's Vocal Mist. That, they were at the NAMM show and you can kind of hear a little bit of degradation in my voice. It's a little bit hoarse. It's probably not as strong as when I first started this video, but I, st I can and I can feel it a little bit, but remember, I just sang 13 songs from a singer who is probably one of the top singers that I've ever heard. Technically, sonically, uh, emotionally, with soul, with uh, raw power. I mean, you name it. Just listen to the guy. Go to my Patreon. Spend two dollars and, and listen to it. So go to Patreon.com/slash/CamKenDrum and you can listen to me sing and play drums to this whole album, 13 songs. And yeah, I've, I feel like I could probably sing the album again and not have any kind of voice cracks or anything like that. Whereas if I didn't have this, I would barely be able to get through it once. Um, and who knows what would happen? Probably some pretty bad stuff. In any case, yeah, Vocal Mist, uh, it, it's the real deal. You guys go out and check it out check out my website camcandrum.com there's a lot of cool stuff there my patreon as i said before whoa sorry i'm, I'm not used to a lav mic uh, my patreon uh, patreon.com slash camcandrum where you can find some really cool stuff that's not on my youtube channel just hit me up there i'm also on facebook and instagram so check those out until the next one peace cam can drum sayonara